Write it down. And if you got two or three things, write it down. Already wrote mine down. Don't worry. You know when you're doing this stuff, it the stuff comes up. is not done yet raise your hand okay we'll wait a few more minutes shift gears we're going to go into high octane because this is freedom time this is not bondage this is not heavy we had repentance at the beginning of getting in the service right now we're going into celebration so what I want you to do with that stuff we're going to be doing I love it this is all in the moment stuff don't you love it when Holy Spirit listen he just is so fun he just tells you what to do we're going to do, there is a river. And it's a celebration song. Remember that light, that river of light that's cascading down? There is a river where freedom flows, okay? So we're going to come up. Does anybody have any blue material or blue flags? Anybody with blue? You have them? Oh, cool. You just so happen to have it right there in a packaged item. Oh my gosh. Would you come up, you two? And, and I want you to stand right here and, and hold it. Hold it out. And as people, you're the river and you're going to just wave it. So Ed, you're on this side. Nathan, you're there. And face each other. And as people come up, they're going through the river. Here's all this blue good stuff. Elaine, whatever you feel led to do with your stuff, maybe you can be right up here. Just don't whack our worship team. Though the flags are called transformed. Of course they are. Okay, so as you come up, you come up through the river. Elaine, you come back here a little bit. And you dump your stuff right here, okay? And see it washed away, and we're going to celebrate. All right? Amen? All right, hit it. Everybody stand. Come on. 
Lord God, we're free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Amen. You're a good, good father. We're going to sing that today.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Luke, you're going to need to help me a little more because my string just busted. So, brother, this is when the body really counts. <laughs> In the secret place, your love. 
Capture my heart, capture my heart again, capture my heart again, capture my heart, capture my heart, capture my heart again, capture my heart, capture my heart, capture my heart again, capture my heart, capture my heart again, capture my heart, capture my heart, capture my heart, capture my heart. the drums. I just want to hear the drum beat again. Just drums and vocals. No other instruments. Oh, Jesus. Capture my heart. Capture my heart again. Capture my heart again. Capture my heart. Capture my heart. Capture my heart again. Capture my heart. Capture my heart again. Capture my heart. Capture my heart. Capture my heart again. to 
in the flags, released from our breath of worship and praise. Listen. Holy, 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 holy.
heaven watching. Lord God, your love and kindness, your love and kindness reaches out. Your love and kindness reaches out. If you don't know Jesus, he is the most most loving, spectacular, precious friend. He loves you because he loves you because he loves you. Those watching on Facebook, he has your name. He knows who you are. He knows who
passing This season is passing This season's not lasting Not lasting anymore I'm beginning to pour, pour on you Pour, pour on you Pour, pour on you I'm bringing you through Bringing you through, bringing you through Oh sister, the Lord says Treasures that you can't even imagine Oh, the devil tried to stop you, but you said, No, I love my God. Oh, the fire of God that's been deposited inside of you like nothing you've ever seen before. I'm opening a brand new door. I'm opening a door that no man will get credit for. I'm opening a door before you. I'm opening up a door before you. You see, the past couldn't last. The past is the past is the past. And the door has been latched on the past. And now it's time to go into your future call. I've made a way, oh daughter, I've made a way. Oh yes, I've made a way. I've made a way, I've made a way, I've made a way. Oh, a brand new way, a brand new way. You're not going to stay. The season has passed and gone away. It's a new day, a new day, a new day, a new day. A brand new song will arise. You'll be surprised at the song that arises. I've created you, my daughter, for such a time as this. season and I hear the Lord say well done good and faithful daughter well done he knows that you were almost done but you pressed through you pressed through and he said I knew you would I knew you would cause I know you're made of because I put it in you you see I trust you I trust you with the treasures within you a treasury of honor a treasury of giftings a treasure weighty glory inside of you, sister. And I hear the word plural. Nations will change because these feet that I have called and commissioned will step foot on the ground. You might be there for one minute and the power of my presence will sink into that place and that place will change because you obeyed me to go where I've called you to go. It's over. This season is done. And he says, well done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, um, Kevin. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we just. Uh, seems we're done here. 
I always like to rub the enemy's nose when he starts messing with it, uh, these uh, children of God. And, and uh, so, uh, thank you. Thank you, Mom. Come on up here. Let's have some fun. Uh, the enemy's been messing with this prophet of God. And I like the prophet of God to begin to smush the head of the enemy. So come on, let's have some fun, brother. Okay? You ready? Okay, here we go. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. There are people here that, Lord, that you want to minister to. And, Lord, we just want to say thank you for the things that you're about to do. And, Lord, we thank you for this mighty man. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you're just stirring up the gifts within him right now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, hey, Caleb, Caleb, put your camera down for a minute. You're one of them, brother. This is going to be fun. Yeah, uh, Nathan, grab that camera. Will you go grab that camera from him? Come here, brother. Glory, glory, glory. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is, this is like pretty cool. All right, brother, you got some? Yep. Got some. There was a time emotionally and in your life, and you felt stuck like a stick in the mud. But the Lord says you are a brand plucked from the fire. And now he is filling you with his fire. And as you move into this new phase in the military soon, the Lord is giving you a fire power greater than any army that walks this earth, greater than any weapon, greater than any megaton or how many mega, mega, mega nuclear weapons are these days. Listen, son, he says. He calls you son, Caleb. You are always of a different spirit. You are always of his spirit. And when you were in the mud, I saw that you were covered by dust and whatever else is in the mud. But no more, Caleb. God is uncovering you to shine. He is uncovering you to rise. And he has given you a courage and a strength. I see it like steel in your bones. Your structure is immovable, impenetrable, so long as you stay in him. So long as you remain and abide in him. Stay strong in him. And he is awakening a love for his word, not just the written word but the word become flesh in relationship. Don't ever walk away from that because he will chase you down, hunt you down, pull you down and pull you back. You can't escape him. You have been chosen from the womb. So he blesses you now to dance in freedom. And what a brilliant mind he's given you, son. What a brilliant mind. Trust the mind he's given you. It is submitted to him. So be it. Good. It's awesome, brother. Praise God. Praise God. Thanks, Nathan. Uh, Thank you, Lord. I I wish some of you wouldn't have left church early. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the things you're doing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the things you're doing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the things you're doing, Lord, right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Kevin, come here, brother. How about this couple right back here? Let's just let's see what the Lord's got for you. You got something there in there? Do this. Just... Yes, Daddy does. Yes, praise God. Interestingly enough, earlier during the service, I saw like shrub, shrubbery, bushes. And when I looked at you, it's for you, but he said it's an olive tree that is blooming. See, there has been seasons where nothing has seemed like it's bloomed for your heart. And the Lord is saying that a sweet oil is being poured forth over the dry, barren places where hope deferred set in. And he is softening the ground so that you, daughter, can believe again, but not just believe. It's a believe and receive. It's not just a faith that is not manifest. There are things that you have been waiting for, hoping for, believing for. But the Lord just turned the tide. He turned the tables. 
and he is pouring out the oil of his presence like that olive oil in bloom over those dry and cracked places in your heart and he is softening them because he says now daughter watch as the seeds of faith that you have held on to and planted begin to grow watch them as they spring forth even this week look and watch for a little bud and watch how quickly it springs up. Watch how quickly it springs up. And son, son, you're a builder. You are a builder. But see, the Lord has had to first build in you a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And though there is still more of that, but he has accomplished a measure of it. Where he is now giving you, I see a manual. He is giving you a manual. There is wisdom and revelation in this manual that you have to impart to others around you. I see men. Now, I don't know if the fullness of it, but I see men in the marketplace. It's wisdom in the world. But the wisdom of God in Christ Jesus, it says in Corinthians, the wisdom and power of God in Christ Jesus to those who believe. He has given you a manual that is full with wisdom and revelation to go be released into the world through you. And it will build his kingdom. You are a builder, young man. And the Lord has built a kingdom, his kingdom in you. Sufficiently so to where you can go out and begin to release. You have revelation. You have understanding. You have been places that others can benefit from your story, from your testimony and from, the, from what God has given you, the wisdom. So he is now gonna give you a platform to begin to release it. Very good. You notice he called you a young man too, that Lord. The Father said that to you. That's where he sees you in some of those things that you've been saying about yourself, about age and all those different things. Uh, young man. Kevin, how about that young couple sitting over there by Nick? How about them, brother? Thank you, Lord. Well, as soon as I looked over there, the Lord's throwing a confetti party over you because something just broke. Something just broke. And he is celebrating over you guys. Heaven is celebrating. And the Lord is saying, you have a crown you don't even know you have. It is that victor's crown from the word that was spoken earlier. You have persevered and you have pressed through. And the Lord is celebrating, and he just wants you to know that you can smile again. You can walk with a greater joy that you've never known. Because the Lord is coming, and he is encountering your family. The Lord is encountering your family. And what I see is that you guys are united together. But the enemy has tried to split and divide. And the enemy has come, but he has now been crushed. And I see the confetti from heaven. And each little piece of confetti has a piece of identity and calling and gifts that the Lord has for you. So he would invite you to ask Holy Spirit to reveal some of what those are. And the rest of your life, they will continue to fall over you. And you will continue to hear what he's saying to you. Because yours is an upward call in Christ Jesus. You are not stuck. You are not driving in reverse. There is promotion. I keep hearing the word promotion. There is a spiritual but a natural promotion over you especially. Sir, there is a promotion promotion over you. It's like a Daniel promotion. There is a promotion like a Daniel. And you are stepping into a place of authority. And you're ready. In him, you're ready. In him, you're ready those things that the Lord does in your life. He prepares you for the ministry and the calling that he has for you. And life. But he uses life in the things we do to prepare us for the greatness of what he's called us to. Amen. Amen. Very good. Praise God. Yes, sir. Edward, do you have a word? I do. Okay. Okay. So God was reminding me that last year we had a jubilee spoken over this house. And remember, your jubilee is faithful. Your jubilee has not abandoned you. But what, the perception that God wanted me to share with you is that the jubilee gets you back to sea level. Your expectation this year is that you build upon that. You grow and continue to build upon that. You grow and continue to build upward and ex- have higher expectations this year than last year. He's telling me that many of you have come to an agreement that you missed something. 
that the pressures that you're feeling right now are holding you back, that, 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 that you're not able to propel yourself forward. God wants to remind you that if you have a water hose, you have the hose, the water comes out at a certain level, but if you put your thumb over the end, it increases the pressure and the pressure propels. Spiritual pressure propels. Don't confuse pressure with God's prevention. Prevention retards, pressure propels. And he wants you to know that this year and in this season, especially in the next couple of weeks, he's looking to propel you far beyond where you can reach right now. And he wants you to come into agreement with that. The confetti on the floor is again your jubilee. He has broken those ties holding you down, and now he can propel you forward. For your jubilee is faithful to remove the chains. Your jubilee is faithful to bring you forth. And every day in Christ can be a day of jubilee. So bring that joy and celebration into every day. And embrace that pressure that God wants to use to send you forth and project you. You want to fly? Let him put the pressure on you. You want to soar? Let him put the pressure on you. When the pressure comes, you will explode. A kite flies because Wind blows in one direction and the string pulls in another. Don't be afraid of God's pressure on you. He's moving you forward and he's calling you into a higher plane, a new plane. And this plane will continue to grow. Every day, every week, every month, every year, you should have an expectation that he's building you up to something new and something higher. Not only in him, but in this earth. Because all the world should see that he is your God and his hand is upon you. That should be your attitude throughout this day and every day. Kev, uh, come forth. Brother Al, yes. Yeah, you have something? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Thank you, Lord. Just hang on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Before he says anything, uh, see if you've got anything for this great young man. There's a saying that says, don't be so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good, but you are tall and your head has always been in the spiritual clouds. And God says he's going to take you to the higher thermals and the higher clouds, like a thunderhead where the clouds build because your feet are still on the ground, but he's stretching you. He's stretching you. He's stretching you with revelation. He's stretching you with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. And he is also part of that stretching is to impart something to you that will confront things in others, not just non-believers, but in the body that is holding them in bondage to theologies, to mindsets, to strongholds, that though they would be backed by scripture, misused, abused by those who did not know how to rightly divide it, The Lord is giving, I see a sword coming out of your mouth. Just like in Isaiah, I believe it's 11, where it says he will strike the ground with the sword of his mouth. He has entrusted you with this. It has been a long walk, but he has taken you higher to give you a higher revelation. But your feet are still on the ground because he's bringing it to those around you that he's sending you to. And it is the word that is like a sword hammer and fire it is to divide it is to crush and it is to burn everything that's chaff and not of the true word and the word become flesh okay oh that's good did you have some did you have some okay yes come let's see Earlier, uh, Dee Dee shared a quote, I think it was Lance Wall now, about the highs and the lows, about you're at a peak and then boom, you're at a peak and then boom. And you're just saying that I'm not as spiritual as Lance Wall now, I guess, because she saw, he saw a crown. All I saw was a heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. And the drums beat out God's heartbeat earlier. And we sang about my heart getting in rhythm with God's heartbeat. And what I saw is if you don't have that high and that low, what are you? You're a flatliner. You are dead. And our body doesn't want to be a flatliner, right? So here's to the highs and the lows where that treasure is. Grasp it and run with it. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, 
two things. I was trying to just do one, but he prompted, Kevin prompted. I was watching, uh, most of you know that my wife got to go to be the glory before me, okay? Somebody said to me yesterday, well, I'm sorry you lost your wife. I said, I didn't. I know where she is. <laughs> but, but you know, when you go through things like this, if you haven't had a lot of questions of why, why this and why that, why not that? And I was watching, um, there was a precious brother, Larry Burke, if you hadn't looked him up on the YouTube, and they were broadcasting from uh, Kenneth Copeland's church. And, uh, and I was so moved by that kind of ministry. That, that turns me on. Mm -hmm. And so I said to the Lord, now I, that's what I'd like to flow in. And probably the strongest voice I've ever heard the Lord speak to me in, he said, then don't ever ask me why again. Trust me, and I will propel you. So the other part was, you were talking this morning early about being brave. And, uh, and then we've heard a number of things and I, I, you may have to do a little paradigm shift here. I'm going to give you a scripture. Because here's how we can be brave. We know the enemy is out there. He hates us. Uh, probably not as much as we hate him. But Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 says that Jesus, when he died, he destroyed the devil. He didn't cripple him. He destroyed him. And when you study that word out, it means to bring him to absolutely zero. Talk about a flat line. There it is. So, so yeah, we're going to have those attacks, but they'll only be as strong as we allow them. Very good. It's a good word. Very good. That's how we be brave. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right. Praise God. You got anything else, dear? All right. Thank you. It was awesome today. Awesome teaching and awesome worship team. Uh, thank you all. Thank you all. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's pray. Father, any of those words that were spoken to today that were declared, uh, I, I was grabbing a whole bunch of those things in those words. There are, there are brothers and sisters, and uh, Lord, I thank you that those words come and bring life. And so, Lord, I thank you for Kevin, and I thank you uh, that he just uh, is a mighty man of God. Yes. A prophet of God, he is. And prophets here, he is. And when that enemy messes with our brother, he messes with us. So he is defeated. We give him zero flat line. Yeah, that's well said. But today we just thank you for the things you've birthed in our hearts, the things you've done in us, the things that you've changed us. Thank you for the deep things, the teaching you've taught us today in so many different ways. In the, the pre-service, the, uh, the, the communion, the the. the, the offering and the teaching that he gave and, the, and then just all the words that have come all of those Lord we are grateful and we thank you for what you're doing now as you take those and place those deep in our spirit man let them begin to cause life whenever there is a need for those words of life we thank you now that we will be doers of the word and we thank you now as we just release each one Go in the presence and the power and almighty, the dunamis power of almighty God be released in you. Bless you all. Bless you all. Have a great 4th of July.